Hey there, it's nice to see you here again. Today we're going to learn how to use MIDI to control tempo with your Morningstar MIDI controller. This allows you to sync up all your time-based effects so everything sounds nice and tight. In this video, we're going to use these three pedals, the HX Stomp, Boss GT1000 Core, and Strymon Timeline. And our MIDI controller for today, of course, is the MC8. As usual though, everything shown today can also be done on the MC3 and MC6. The first way you can control tempo with MIDI is using MIDI Clock to sync all BPMs across your pedals. MIDI Clock is global and will affect all pedals in your MIDI chain, regardless of what MIDI channel each pedal is set to. Most MIDI capable pedals accept MIDI Clock. If you do not want a particular pedal to be affected by MIDI Clock, simply disable MIDI Clock Receive on the pedal itself. Conversely, before we start using MIDI Clock, we need to make sure that all our pedals have MIDI Clock Receive enabled. Since MIDI Clock is global, we only need to program one message on the MCA to control all connected devices. Let's choose a press action for our MIDI Clock message. Next, when it comes to choosing which type of MIDI Clock message to use, we have two choices, MIDI Clock Tap and just plain MIDI Clock. We'll go through both today. Let's start with MIDI Clock Tap. So let's select that, name this switch Tap, and hit save. MIDI Clock Tap turns your Morningstar controller switch into a global tap tempo switch. This allows you to simply tap on your switch to send MIDI Clock according to the tempo at which you are tapping, all on the fly. The BPM that is being sent via MIDI Clock will also appear on the MC8 screen and blink in time with the tempo. You can tap this switch anytime you want, and the tempo across all pedals will change and still be in sync. The GT1000 Core and the Timeline both can display their BPMs even while they are receiving external MIDI clock, while the HX Stomp does not. However, you can just simply touch the tap switch of the HX Stomp and it will show you that it is synced up to external MIDI clock on its screen. If you want your Morningstar MIDI controller to continuously send MIDI clock data all the time, you can turn MIDI clock persist on under its global configuration menu. If you want it to stop sending MIDI clock when another preset is engaged, you can turn MIDI clock persist off. That way when another preset is engaged, the Morningstar controller will stop sending MIDI clock. Now let's set up another switch with the type of MIDI clock message that we saw earlier. This MIDI clock message type allows you to send a predetermined fixed BPM that will be sent when the switch is pressed. Let's call this preset Ava, assuming you have a song titled Ava that you want to play. Below the MIDI clock message, I have a bunch of other messages on this switch that will engage the effects for this song. Looking at the first MIDI clock message, you can enter the BPM you want here. Let's enter 96 BPM for example. You then have the option of choosing whether you want the tap menu to show up when you press this switch. If you select no, your MIDI controller will simply send out the preset BPM when the switch is pressed. If you select yes, your MIDI controller will send the preset BPM and show a tap menu when the switch is pressed. In this menu, you can tap in a new tempo on the fly or you can scroll up and down to a new desired tempo. Once you're at your new tempo, you can just tap to exit and continue playing. But if you press save, that will override your preset with the new BPM. This will be the new BPM for this preset even after you power your controller off and on again. Now, if for any reason you don't want to use MIDI clock or your receiving devices do not support MIDI clock, there is another way to control tempo with MIDI. This is done simply by sending a CC message to emulate tapping on the tap tempo switch of each of your effect pedals. The HX Stomp and Timeline both allow incoming MIDI CC messages to emulate tapping on their tap tempo switches. So all we need to do is program the MC8 to send the CC messages that correspond with the tap tempo controls for each of these pedals. In the same way that we had to enable MIDI Clock Receive when we wanted to use MIDI Clock, we also need to disable it to use CC Tap. This is so we don't confuse the effects pedal by sending it both MIDI Clock and CC Tap messages. Let's start with the HX Stomp and program our first message on a new switch, Switch H. Let's name this switch CC Tap. We don't even need to look at the Stomp manual. Just click on MIDI Dictionary in the Morningstar Editor, look for the HX Stomp and type in Tap in the search bar, click on the copy button and paste it onto our switch and click Save Preset. Now Switch H mimics the Tap switch on the HX Stomp. So when we tap on Switch H now, it's as if we are tapping directly on the HX Stomp. Now let's add the tap message for the timeline to the same switch. Just copy the tap message you need for the timeline from the Morningstar MIDI Dictionary and paste it to message 2 on switch H. As you can see, because we have named our MIDI channels, the editor automatically knows which channel to send this message by. Now when we tap on switch H of the MC8, it's as if we are tapping on the tap tempo switches of both the HX Stomp and Timeline at the same time. 
Now, what about the Boss GT1000 Core you may ask? Why aren't we using MIDI CC tap with it? Good question. That's because the GT1000 Core does not allow a CC message to emulate its tap tempo function, so we can only use MIDI clock to control its BPM with MIDI. On a side note, we've recently posted a video about using MIDI with this pedal, so if you own the GT Core, I highly recommend that you watch that. And that's it for today, I hope that you found today's video useful or at least entertaining. And if you like what you've seen here, it'd be greatly appreciated if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel where you get the best tips and tricks on how to use MIDI. Stay awesome and we'll see you in the next video.